Initial facial development starts with the development of the frontal process. The frontal process or covering of the brain and forehead region will develop three downwardly growing growths from it. The first growth is the median nasal process. The median nasal process is going to form the center to the tip of the nose, it will also form the nasal septum underneath. Another growth from the frontal process is the lateral nasal process. Looking at the patient's left side, will draw the lateral nasal process. There's also going to be a right lateral nasal process, but we're not going to draw on the patient's right side of the face. Once the median nasal process finishes its development, the glabular process will grow from the median nasal process. The glabular process forms the area of the filtrum. The lower face, or brachial arch 1, will develop the lower jaw, or mandibular arch. On the right and left sides of brachial arch 1, there will be two upwardly growing growths from brachial arch 1. Drawing on the left side, you see that we have a maxillary process growing upward and inward. The maxillary process will grow inward and touch the lateral nasal process as well as the glabular process. What this also tells us is the side of the cheek or maxillary process will grow and touch the lateral nasal process or side of the nose as well as the globular process or filtering. The colors on the face definitely need to fuse. If there's failures to fuse where these colors are meeting, facial clefting can occur. Looking at the patient's left side, if we have a failure to fuse of the globular process with the maxillary process, we have a cleft lip. This is an incomplete cleft lip on the patient's left side. If we extend the clefting further into the nostril, we end up with a unilateral complete cleft lip. 